This is Mr. Ward, and this is the Pre-Algebra Do Now 26.1, week 26, day one, the first day of the new trimester. Still wrapping up some things with exponents, so here are some exponential things. There are, on the high end, about 5.7 times 10 to the sixth red blood cells per cubic millimeter in your body. Okay, so per cubic millimeter, 5.7 times 10 to the sixth. There are... In an 80-pound child, uh, there will be about 2.6 times 10 to the 6 cubic millimeters of blood in the body. So how many red blood cells on the high end would you, we expect that child to have? So this is a multiplication problem. So we're going to do 2.6 times 10 to the 6th times 5.7 times 10 to the 6th. So 2.6 times 10 to the 6th times, I'd say 5.7, times 5.7 <clears throat> times 10 to the sixth power. So we're going to group things. It's going to be 2.6 times 5.7, and then we'll group the powers. 10 to the six plus six, because they're the same base. So we can just say 6 plus 6. And so now we got to figure out what 2.6 times 5.7 is. Let's go to a calculator. I do request you use a calculator for this sort of thing. I get 14.82. So 14.82 for that. 14.82 times 10 to the 6 plus 6 is 12, so the 12th power. Okay, that is not where we end because we got to turn 14.82 into 1.482 times 10. That became 10 times smaller, so that needs to become 10 times bigger. So that comes out to 1.482 times 10 to the 13th red blood cells in that child. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's take a look at the white blood cells. So there's 1.08 times 10 to the fourth white blood cells per cubic millimeter, milliliter in your body. An adult human is going to have 5.1 times 10 to the six cubic milliliters, I'm sorry, millimeters, millimeters of blood. That's cubic millimeters. That means there's 1,000 cubic millimeters in one milliliter, so a million in a liter. Okay, so let's see here. We've got how many white blood cells can we expect an adult to have? Again, a multiplication problem. So we know how many white blood cells there are per cubic milliliter, millimeter, and we know how many cubic millimeters there are. So 5.1 times 10 to the 6 cubic millimeters uh, times 1.08 times 10 to the 4th times 1.08. 8 times 10 to the 4th. Now we're going to group our powers, group our powers and our coefficients. So I'll group the coefficients. 5.1 times 1.08. I have a typo. I will fix that typo. That's an 8. And then over here we're going to have 10 to the 6 plus 4 because it's the same base. I can just add the powers. And we need to work out what is 5.1 times 1.08. We'll go put it into the calculator. Please use a calculator for this because I am testing your ability to organize scientific notation, not your ability to calculate decimals. So 5.508. So, oops, let me go back in there. I've lost my do now. There it is. 5.508. 5.508. Times 10 to the 6 plus 4 is going to be 10 to the 10th power. Uh, white blood cells uh, in an adult. That is, of course, once again on the high end. And I could have rounded that to 5.5 if I wanted. I could round this one to 1.48 or 1.5. That would be legit to do given the rough numbers. Now we're going to simplify this exponential expression. We've got x to the negative 2 over the negative 2 power of x fit to the 5th times y to the negative 4th. So let's start off by <clears throat> grouping our powers. I've got x to the negative 2, and that's being divided by x to the 5 
times negative two power. So I've got that. And I'm also gonna deal with the y's. So that's one over y to the negative four. I'm gonna organize this here a little better. So in parentheses, I'll say negative four times negative two. And now I've got to sort all that out. So x to the negative two, That's going, I'm going to end up subtracting from negative two. So it's going to be because I'm dividing. Dividing by five times negative two. So five times negative two is going to be negative 10. Okay. And then over here, I've got one over y to the negative four times negative two is going to be eight. All right, let's keep going. I've got x now is going to be to the eighth power. Um, let's see. And then y is to the eighth power, but in the denominator. So I've got x to the eighth times one over y to the eighth, which will end up just being x to the eighth over y to the eighth, you cannot simplify that any further because we do not want, know what x and y are. If you wanted to, you could rewrite this in parentheses as x over y. This is an alternate notation for this. It's not actually formally simplified. x over y to the eighth since numerator and denominator are both to the eighth power, if you wanted to. But this line here is the answer. I hope that helped.